So I'm here with uh, Ilya Monesi Osipov from uh, G2, the young prodigy, and he's going to show us uh, his ultimate settings in uh, CS2. And um, yeah, let's just get uh, straight into it. I never played it though, but I know some good settings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, I'm joking. I played already a few games yesterday, and uh, right, let, let's. This is advanced already. Let's go into the newbie settings first. Uh, what do we have here? Here we have a normal 4-3. We go 1280-960 with. 240 gears, that's important. Maybe you guys don't have 240 at home, but uh, I play like this. All right, so uh, 4x3, is that uh, preference or is there actually something better about it? Actually, it's not preference, but uh, I've been always playing on this resolution and uh, I never changed it. Maybe I was playing also on 5.3 and it, it's, it's not bad. But you guys, it's up to you to decide what resolution you want to play. Don't always copy pro, pro player settings, just uh, play whatever you want. And for the main background, it has to be Italy or...? Italy? Yeah, it has to be... Ah, no business. <laughs> All right. The, be the best map in this map pool competitive. All right, so if we go into the bit more advanced settings. Um, yeah. Now, I honestly don't know anything about this. It's not even like uh, for the interview or anything. I know nothing. So just go through it like I'm five years old. Sure, sure. Let's go now, guys. A boost player contrast we put disabled. What does this do? You have it also in CSGO and uh, like you can see people better on the far distance, kinda. Is this the thing that uh, gives a bit of like uh, a shadow around the the model? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Vertical sync we put disabled, doesn't. And do you know what this does at all? Because I don't. Vertical sync? Uh, you, you, you guys don't have to know, it's just, uh, you just should never put it enabled, you will have low FPS every time. All right, just, just trust, just trust. Uh, 8x. Don't even ask me because you have it in CSGO. <laughs> Global shadow quality you put... Uh, I would put higher thing, because like now it's in, in CS2 meta, like you can see shadow on the on the ground. Like if people picking you or something, like the shadow is really big, for example, mentioned in cave. Like Why not very high then? I don't know. I was just always playing on high. I don't know h how much difference... Uh, like what was the difference between high and very high here? Because I never played it in CS2. So. All right, so we're not we're not done testing, but uh, for now we put it on high. Yeah. After we put low, it's always was for me like that. After we put uh, billionaire, I don't know actually what for what this setting, but uh, I think it's for just better quality or something. I don't know for better textures, quality or something like that. We put low here, shader detail, shader detail, particle detail. We put low. And, and do you know what any of this is? Actually, I don't know what's this. I don't know. This is new, yeah. What is particle detail? Because I never played it. Control the complexity of particle effects and whether the particles can cast show uh, settings with visual quality, but can decrease. Okay, this is put low because we don't actually need the better quality in the game. We need more FPS and more performance. So the game is not laggy. True. Uh, here we put disabled. I asked Justin yesterday what, what should I put here and here. He, he told me it's disabled. Back in the day, this was a setting in NVIDIA settings that you could use to cheat with smokes. So this is put disabled. We don't cheat. <laughs> yes. And this is good quality. This is important, Justin told me. Uh, Wait, so here we want quality. In all the other settings, we wanted low quality, but now we actually don't want performance. Why is that? This is something, uh, something different compared to this. Do you know what? No. Okay, good. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So this is, this is something better for sure. And this, all right. This is disabled highest quality. I, I have no idea what this is, to be honest. I never saw it. <laughs> I have no clue what it is either, but... You know what's the best, I trust. It's all good. You should trust at home as well. Trust me, guys. Put the same settings when you will play and it's going to be the best for you. And the best advice that you can hear from today, if you see this smoke grenade, flashbang, HE grenade, Molotov cocktail, just go and bind it. Smoke grenade, for example. I have flashbang on F because F is for F flashbang. You know what I mean? Smoke grenade, we put S, C. D, uh, Molotov cocktail, it's X. Uh, HE, it's T for me. Always bind, have a good binds for nades and don't fucking... <laughs> don't and don't, 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 why is this? Why is this? Uh, because people always dying when they need to f find the uh, like nade kinda. They're fumbling with the with pressing 4 like 3 times and stuff. Yeah, they're always pre pressing 4-4, four, four. they will try to find their nade and they're dying in the mold or something, they cannot find their smoke. Or like, you know, also people are scrolling and they cannot find the smoke and they're dying be in the motor because of that. We even see pros do this still. But if you want to be a young prodigy like Monesi, you better listen to the video settings and uh, bind your nades. 
we're here with Sasha and uh, I know you didn't play too much, but tell me your settings. Let's go through the video settings now. Answer here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so usually I have 1280, 960, same as in CSGO. Mm -hmm. The brightness on highest level. And 240 years, everything's good here. Boom. After we go here, this one same as CSGO. Yeah. This one, boost player contrast, always disabled for me in CSGO. Uh, this one, I did low at the beginning of settings, but now everyone recommend to do high, so you can see some shadows. Yeah. Some bylaner or <laughs> bylaner. Uh, this is on low. This is, I don't know, yeah. Guess like they look decent. They look decent. Yeah, I heard you need the shadow quality on high at least to see the shadows. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go hard edge positions. Do you know this? Hard edge position? What do you mean? Go to setting. Yes. What is this? I don't know. What? Yeah, that's useless. I don't know either. Do you have any key bindings or anything? Yeah, I have jump on wheel down. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Uh, sensitivity 3.09. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, now we need some comments. How to change view model? I don't know, bro. Preset position. View model, preset post, underscore. Yeah. yeah. So th this one is mine, three. Yeah, I have the same, that's good. And that's it. That's how he does it, simple. All right, I'm here with leading developer Robin Cool, and uh, he's gonna run me through uh, the CS2 settings. And uh, what's the first thing that we should start with? We can straight go into video settings here, I believe. So let's start off with that. I think on the first tab here, everything looks good. I play 1920, that is perfect for me. Uh, we wanna go to the highest refresh rate, so we go to 240, which is available here. Then we go to advanced video. Boost player contrast would be enabled. That's the same settings in CSGO, I use that. You see the player models a bit better. Frame for vertical sync is disabled. And then we go into the individual values here. Multi sampling, anti aliasing. I use CMA. There is not much of an effect with FPS in terms of the settings, but it's nice to have some anti aliasing. Um, and then global shadow quality, you should have them very high. I think it doesn't make a difference in CSGO, but in CS2, you will see more player models shadows. So, for example, people running around the map, the lighting is way different in this game. And like on Temple on Ancient? Exactly, that's a good example. Um, when people are running out of places on Ancient, you will see the shadow over here earlier, like I did on stream once, and uh, I, sh I, I executed the shadow one time, but then the player actually killed me, so... Model and texture detail. So I think this is very aesthetic one. Um, I think many people play this on low. I had this on medium, nice balance, and I don't think it costs much FPS. So visually, I enjoy medium. And then we go into texture filtering mode. This is actually a new setting which came up in an update a few weeks ago, I believe, just before I got to EPL. So I haven't tested this too much, but I leave it at 4x, which is the same I use at CSGO right now. Um, high dynamic range. You should put on quality. If you put this on performance, you will have grain all over the screen and it kind of ruins the experience. So I would recommend you put it on quality and that this way it will be as clear as possible. Fidelity FX, I think this is like a very technical command. Uh, if you put it on performance, it will just lower the, again, the quality overall of, of your screen. You have to leave this on disabled and your game will be as clear as possible. Um, NVIDIA Reflex, another very technical command. This, I think, will decrease input lag. Normally, you would put this on Enabled plus Boost, and I will do that now. The only thing is, I think in CS2, there might be some issues with this setting currently that Disabled might give better performance, but in the future, Enabled plus Boost will be the way to go for sure. I know that you're a player that changes the HUD uh, edge positions. Do you think in CS2 it makes a, a bigger difference? To, to have a HUD in a, a smaller dimension? Um, so I think this is a command and idea which is very like, personal. I think uh, it depends a lot how you sit, for example. So I adjust my horizontal a bit to be more inside. 
So I just sit very close to the monitor. You could have everything in the center like this, like very close. So if you played like like me, like your nose in the monitor, you wouldn't have to turn as much as like you don't have to turn your head as much when you look at your kill feed, your radar and stuff like that, even like your ammo and stuff. So it is definitely a useful setting. HUD, show location equipment. I think this is a very useful command, especially for IGLs, um, but to any player, I think you should have location and equipment on. Once you see your teammates' grenades, you can, you know, coordinate, execute, uh, make plays much easier and make communication much smoother. Um, so this is a command I recommend having it on. Mouse sensitivity. This is uh, unusual setting for everyone. Mine is 1.77. Zoom sensitivity multiplier. I use one. I don't change this. Great. And uh, my final question is, do you like the game? I like the game for sure. I think if you think about CS, how it's evolved, I don't think it has ever been in a spot like this where the game comes out and it's as good as it is right now. Um, when a CS game releases, it's always bad in the beginning. But this is, I think, the best it's ever been from the, from the start. So I think, yeah, just give it some time and give... Uh, People time to test things, the developers to fix things, and I think we're gonna be, you know, set for another good ten years with this one. That is great to hear, especially coming from a Valve developer himself. Um, yeah.